it seems like I got another call of a winch out service. So we're gonna take a little bit of a detour to go and rescue that guy as well before we make this delivery here. Okay, so here we go. Between calls, another call came in. This is more recovery, winch out service. Uh, I had to change my shirt because I got soaked here. It's pouring buckets. Anyway, I've uh, got a, a vehicle behind me now. We're heading on to the other call. We're gonna drop this vehicle down and then do the recovery here. The gentleman is stuck in the mud uh, somewhere deep in, in this uh, area here. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do to help him out. So we're gonna have to drop our load somewhere safe and then uh, go out there and rescue him and then come back to this. Hey guys, vehicle. I'm down here at Edgefield or up here at Edgefield, however you like to uh, call it Edgefield McMinimins. Uh, we're gonna go up this hill. We're all the way almost to the very top of the residential area. So here's uh, the beekeeper. Gentleman is our customer. He came out here to try to take care of his bees. And uh, yeah, nice and nice and comfy he got stuck here, as we've seen it before. Quite a bit of, of a mess. Not only are we at incline, so we got the weight of the trucks pulling us down. And then obviously we got these wheel wells that we got to navigate around. That would be nice if we can pull them backwards, but there's a lot of trees back there. So the only way to do it is frontwards and with care and anchoring ourselves before it gets dark. these J-hooks uh, to hook up to the undercarriage to the support on the axles. We're going to pull it this way. Where's that tree? We got him anchored with J-hooks on both sides. Uh, we got a snatch block over here next to this tree. Uh, we got the winch cable back over there to about 150 to 200 feet. We got one inch chains holding it with a breakaway down below here. Uh, he's got a steering turn this way. I'm guiding him. He's gonna be pulling or barely touching the gas, just enough that we can break free of that mud. And then as I winch, we're gonna try to uh, anchor him closer and closer to this side so he, he does not touch that tree, that little limb over there. So we're gonna do this in a few steps. Okay, gently, give it gas, just gently. snatch block and uses J hooks. We got this gentleman off this hill out of the mud and now we're just uh, cruising it out of the way. We could probably drive it right now but uh, we're gonna keep pulling him until we get him out in the clearance. He's in neutral now. We got a safety on there, a safety chain, two safety chains and uh, two J hooks. That was the only way to get him hooked up. But right now you should be good. All right, we're good. Remind me your name. Trevor from Raw Oregon Honey. Raw Oregon Honey. That's right, baby. Check it out, man. This is probably the best honey in the world here, considering it's right here in Oregon, right? That's right, baby. And pure and here, 100%. 
100% natural, nothing added, with light filtered. So. Awesome. Yeah. Raw Oregon honey. I'm yeah. going to recommend that, you guys. This gentleman, you know, he got stuck here trying to do his business, and we got him out, and uh, he's safe. You satisfied with yes, my... Yes, big time satisfied. Brother, thank yeah, you so yeah. much. You guys, take care. This is the end of this recovery. Now we got to go make a uh, delivery with the Look other truck. this mass here. Uh, we got to get through... Uh, if you don't know what it feels like to be in the muddy spot, uh, this is, uh, you know, up on the creek, up on the edge, up on the, you know, whatever. Uh, this is what it looks like. So he was buried in here. Uh, luckily, we used that snatch block to get him straight so he doesn't fish tail into the tree. The snatch block works great if you use it right. And, uh, you know, we anchored the, the truck up there with the winch. And everything else is good.